Hello, Covidius Albions. It's weird fish here. I do quite like weird fish. I've had this for a while here. Yeah. It's the great outdoors. Yeah, well, let me tell you where I am. Supplies run. Aldi again. Thank you very much. Lovely company, Aldi. Very German. And so a little. Let's just show you something different inside of the car. Yeah, just to prove that the... Uh, the engine and whatever is running, who knows what you can see in that. Yeah. Those are my engine instruments. Uh, let's see if you can even get a bit of acceleration. There you go, a bit of acceleration as well. And looking to the outside in Aldi, yeah, you've got a little bit of a fire escape and whatever there. And looking to whoever would have pulled up on the other side in Aldi, you can see that big Union Jack down there. The Germans obviously think that every country needs its identifiable symbol, and there is a big Union Jack down there. Talking of which, it leads me nicely in. You can hear the air conditioning going in the background, by the way. Leads me beautifully in Union Jack's beautiful lead into Bozo the racist clown and wanting his RAF aeroplane painted to look like Austin Powers in The Spy Who Shagged Me. Can't quite do the music, but I think it's something like dee 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 so every time Bozo appears in his Austin Powers aeroplane that will cost nearly a million pounds of taxpayers' money to paint, you think the politician who shagged us all. Yeah, the politician who shagged the country. The politician who shagged so many different women and the politician who will never reveal quite how many kids he's got. Right, that much aside. Covidius Covidians. I was looking at an article on one of the, in one of the papers today, I think it may have been The Guardian, about Trump's presidency. Now, OK, not directly related to UK, of course, but Trump still, you know, failing to deal with coronavirus in America, just like we're not dealing with coronavirus in the UK. Trump more deaths, of course, but very much part of a fascist mentality. Yeah, Trump's a fascist. There's absolutely no question about it. Why, why do you think Johnson likes him so much? Because they're both little fascists, yeah? Everybody in the world, of course, is laughing at Trump, and they're laughing at Johnson as well. But behind the laughter, it's really quite alarming. There are people of the opinion that Trump will be elected again. That's really scary, isn't it? I mean, it's really, really scary. It's really scary that people elected him in the first place, but it's even more scary that people will elect him a second time. And what will be the platform he will get in on? Same as Johnson's platform. Sheer ignorance. Sheer, well, the platform of a dictator, really, who will promise you lots and lots of things, not necessarily deliver them, but use the power to rule you. Not to govern you, because there is a difference between being governed and being ruled. Yeah, Trump is a ruler. Boris is a ruler. A ruler dictates. A ruler takes everything to themselves, like um, like a monarch, yeah? You know, I mean, Johnson essentially thinks, although he's not officially the monarch, and we do have one monarch figurehead, but Johnson rules like a monarch, doesn't he? And he expects the kind of toadying sycophancy that Trump gets. Johnson gets it too. Sycophantic, 
little toads suck up to him and they all tug forelocks and it's yes sir yes sir we may be in the northeast we may be even in the north of the country our kids may be starving our hospitals may be closing our old people may be dying their pensions may be cut their investments may be worth nothing but we'll still vote for a strong man a determined man, a real leader like Boris de Piffle Johnson. So, is it inevitable? Yes, of course it's inevitable. I'm just trying to get rid of, a bit of that sunshine. I think there's much more likelihood that Trump will indeed be re-elected. And that is truly frightening. As ever, people, you know damn well we're being lied to by the government. Every bit of pressure is now being applied to get everyone back to work, to get the shops open, to pack them in, to cut that one metre social distance, to cut rather the two metre social distance down to one metre so we can pack more in, we can get more infections, we can actually... Uh, higher the R rate of course and of course we will get herd immunity by default which is what he's wanted all along isn't it yeah I feel for this world I really really do I feel for the decent people in it I feel for the people in this world who are not ignorant brutal little savages like Johnson and Trump. I feel the, for the weakest in society, the most exploited in society, the most vulnerable in society, those who can only survive through the help and actions of others. I feel for them. I feel for the homeless people being put back on the streets now, yeah, because, well, need to contain them anymore really do you I mean just put them on the street start them begging again this country once again is sliding into fascism once Trump has been re-elected once Johnson gets further mandate after Brexit fascism will be pretty much complete it's become a tradition in the Western world yeah? It's become a, a tradition to rule, to be strong, to be ruthless, to be brutal. Yeah? That's the tradition. You know all the stuff that we fought against? Well, the stuff that was all, you know, the war and that lot. I'm really sorry to hear that Dame Vera Lynn has died. Well, all the stuff that people listened to her music during and after World War II and all the hope that she provided and all the encouragement and joy that she knew would be there as the sun came shining through and over, you know, somewhere white cliffs of Dover and all that. Well, all that, all that we fought to defend and preserve and to protect from fascism. Yeah, well, that's what we're going back to now. The very thing people of my parents' generation, my father in particular because he fought in the Second World War in the Far East and Burma, the people of my uncle's generations who also fought, the people of my mother's generation. My mother was machine gunned by a fighter, a German fighter during the Blitz. The people who had hope and faith and confidence in those songs, everything they fought against is now coming true in our society. I weep for this society. I truly weep for it. But rather than weep for it, I'm gonna fight to make it better. Please join me. Fight to make it better. Socialism, of course. Black Lives Matter, of course. Workers' power, of course the means of production to be owned by the workers, of course. The workers, united, will never be divided. And if we stay united, yeah, then we will defeat fascism and we will defeat racism as united workers 
common in union and purpose. Take care, folks. Bye.